All right. Sorry to interrupt the cinematic there, but we are into the grand final here. Um, my overlay is not set up correctly, but we'll get into this game. We do have our Terran player here. It is Star Tales Hack. And in the bottom left, we have our Protoss player. Currently looking for a team. It is Arthur. Yay. All right, so. I'll fix up my observer interface a little bit later, but. Um, Should be able to get the gist of everything here anyway. Get back into that game heart goodness later on. So we're we're actually playing on the Korean server at the moment. Um, that's why my observer interface didn't work. Uh, this is a best of seven between this Protoss player and Terran. Game one, of course. And gas first from Hack. Mm. I uh, and Arthur's actually going to see it with his first pro scout, so it's a pretty big deal to be doing this. Uh, he will definitely go for an early robo, I'd, I'd say, to try and get out an observer in case he did something like Banshee, even though Banshee isn't that common. But it's more more often than not likely to be a, a widow mine or a Hellion play these days when you see uh, such a quick gas. Scatterino coming into hack space right now. Uh, so. It's pretty important he does click on the gas and see how much is mine, but someone as good as Arthur. Yeah, yeah clicked on it. Clicks on it. So impressive, like, I couldn't for the life of me to do that myself. <laughs> and even then, like if I click on it, I'd look at the information and go, mm, yeah, that doesn't mean anything to me. Let's carry on doing what I'm doing and make five racks, so. <laughs> yeah. When you play StarCraft all day, every day. Yeah. Yeah. You can click on something like that and, and just know. Like, it'll be like 244 or something like that when he comes in. Oh. If it's... CV. That's micro from both players. Yeah. Yeah, it, it'll be about 240, 250-ish when you come in, if they've just opened normally for Reaper. Um, if they've gone gas first, it'll be around 2400, something like that. So, it's, it's, it's just small things that you pick up by playing uh, mm. quite a lot. Well met! Rose Eagle, thanks for following. Just going to quickly change one other thing here. Do, 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 do. So I don't forget for next game. Good little scouting path here by the Reaper, just making sure there's no proxies out there already. Hmm. And it's interesting that Hack went for gas first, but didn't actually do much with it. Um, well, he got his, he, um, it was actually a late gas first, to be fair though. He, he threw down the gas just before he threw down the barracks. Yeah, it was just mainly so he could actually get his reactor up and running first. Um, you get a couple of marines out. Uh, I'm not sure if he actually went... Um, reactor before any marines, but it's, uh, always helps with the production. And uh, Arthur's actually going for 3-gate. And hack scouting everywhere with with that reaper to find something, and might actually see this probe. No, okay, but yeah, this this is going to be the same build we saw Arthur use against uh, Supernova just before in the first game on um, King Sejong. Ah, oh, yep. yep. It, the, the difference in this game is that Supernova was really behind because he did that proxy racks that got cancelled. Hmm. Whereas this time, and he actually sees all the all the gateways and the timing they're morphing in, and he's gonna. Oh, he's, is so smart. He's gonna kill the pylon. Mm, yeah, get that's, the probe. That's his, that's his push done. Yeah. So immediately Arthur starts making probes and he's gonna throw down tech. Yep. And he goes for blink. Twilight cancel. Yeah. Uh, could could be DTs or blink, but. I'd say say it's I'd say it'd be um blink. Uh, going by by his past games, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, it doesn't make much sense going for... Well the, met! Uh, ...right now. I'm pretty sure you just get the blink defensively. Um, there's no way you can go into uh, a timing that's going to work right now. But Hack's already building a bunker. Um, building two extra bunkers. Hmm. Yeah, two bunkers at, at the net, so... Oh, the Reaper's going to get in and see the Twilight Cannon. Oh, no, it's not. No. Nice protection. Uh, yeah, so it is Blink going down, but... I, I'm... Yeah, this is definitely a defensive Blink. I, I can't see him actually pushing with this. Yeah, there's, there's the, the Robo Day. Yeah. Alright. So... Uh, this should go into a fairly normal game. Um, I think Arthur's going to take a third this game. I don't think he's going to all in. Uh, he's gearing up to take that third by killing the rocks. He hasn't cut his probes yet. Yeah, we're getting all the telltale signs of the third. And more importantly, if if uh, Hack does scout, uh, he will be able to tell as well that there, that a third is coming. Yeah, for sure. He's going to start pressuring with these uh, Marines and Marauders. Don't know if they'll do too much damage. It'll certainly um, uh, strike before any Corsi are out. Um, yeah, this is actually not, not actually that many units out, out here, as uh, as I say that. Well, uh, few more stalkers get warped in, but um, yeah, this, is this could do special. some damage. Yeah, this is, this is what separates the really really good Protosses um, from from like the the mediocre ones is how they deal with this because this is something that almost every Terran does every game and the great Protosses will take no damage or, or very little damage they'll have to Nexus Cannon which is fairly normal mm -hmm. but the, the mediocre ones they'll lose a Mothership Core they'll lose a few units here or there they might lose a couple probes and then Terran's just going to out macro you so Good Hack's going to come in here yep brilliant spread and we'll, we'll see what he can get done it leads with the Marauders going to force it no. does have does have stim, so hasn't hasn't forced yeah. out the Nexus Cannon, but And the Colossus is out now. Well so. Combat Shield is almost done, so that's what he's waiting for. Yeah. And uh, plus Arthur's one as well, so this could be a really good timing attack here. But uh, uh yeah, sorry, Hack is oh Hack's got the uh Medivax now, so this is gonna be be even better. If you can focus down that col one Colossus, be huge. Forces out the Nexus Cannon. Pulls back. Nice spread, wow. Really wow, good spread. Great micro from Hack. Oh my god. That Colossus just dies, but there's not enough units here to continue on with this attack. Medivac's bug out. Still definitely worth it. Yeah, definitely. Right. Forces that Nexus Cannon does, doesn't actually fight in there. Kills off the first Colossus. Third Colossus on the way. Yeah, and we actually have Double Forge coming out from Arthur. And he's going to take a third right now. And I actually like both players' positions here. Mm. Uh, Arthur hasn't taken game-ending damage. Like he lost a Colossus, but he did trade it for most of the Terran's units. He didn't get that Metavax, so which hurts. But and Hacks uh, taking a Colossus down. He's he's got his opponent under pressure, which is really important in TVP. It's very uh, momentum-based, and he's even going for a Widowmind drop right now, which is cute. Uh, the, well, the probe is going to see it. Oh. Oh. Just got a glimpse of it, but I don't know whether or not Arthur would have seen it. Yeah, it's really hard in the game to yeah. recognize it. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. Uh. Could have been bad. He's just going to pick up and leave with those. Yeah. Oh, no, he's going to put one to the nut. Uh, it's it's always good doing that because you force um, an extra he observer loses that. Made, which uses... Do you lose? Oh, you lost it. Yeah. Yeah, he lost that medivac with the uh, widow mine in, but he's going to go around into the natural now. He only has two Vikings. This is more of a just uh, nice widow mine hit. Good hit there. Another one. Yeah, another good hit. Uh, and the widow mine in the main has killed five more workers. So it's S always nice doing those Widowmind drops against Protoss because it, it uses uh, Robo time which is a sort of a resource in itself when you're going for Colossus styles Yeah. because you want to just be building Colossus once you get out of first few observers but if you have to build more then you're going to have less Colossus so uh, 
Although in saying that, Arthur's upgrades are, are really nice. And it looks like Hack's getting his second eBay to catch up. Yeah, sort of pretty pretty even and that's the thing. You know, Steam Combat Shield Concussion 1-1 one, one, um, for Hack. And then we just got like the plus one armor and Thermal Lance and Blink. Uh, I don't know. I'd probably still still feel that Hack's a little bit uh, further in front in that regard. Um, yeah. Especially uh, delaying, delaying tactics with the uh, the widow mines on that. So I think it's been fantastic. So I think hack would be more comfortable in a macro uh, game as well, because Arthur, like I've said a few times, is is a mm. really cheesy kind of all any player. Um, he obviously can macro really well. Yeah. But in saying well that, met. Hack is known to be a, quite a strong macro player, um, and we saw his control splitting the bio just before when he was pushing in, and it was superb. So. Wow, four Colossus now. Fifth one on the way. Yeah, but ha Hack has double Stargate, uh, double Starport, double Reactor, making yeah. making Vikings, and that's what you need to deal with such a big Colossus count. And there's not that many Stalkers to shoot down the Vikings, so. There's, that there's, map? there's plenty of uh, plenty of Marauders here with this force as well, so this is a, it's a pretty scary composition from both players, really. I don't know if I'd be confident moving into four Colossus like this. Oh, not the greatest engagement there for oh, Hack. Oh, the blink. Nice blink. He's going to lose... A f wow, that's a lot of Vikings. Really great hiding there from Hack. His control is superb. Yeah. But all the Vikings are dead and there's still four Colossus alive. Yeah, so. they're all still alive. One's on like ten hit, ten hit points. And... Arthur snipes some medevacs as well, which is really important, and I think Hack can almost just, uh, I mean, sorry, Arthur can almost just go for the kill here, because he's going to blink down more units, yeah. more and more units. Force another stim, and that's just going to make a lot of easy work there for the Colossus as well, so... He doesn't have a pylon, that's the only issue right now to warp and he's building one, but... If, I, if I'm Arthur in this situation, I'd just focus the SCVs and pull back, and mm. he kills a couple. I got five then, which isn't too bad. But, uh, he's got 2-1 on his units, he's about to hit 2-2, two, two, but so is the Terran, so... It could be a bit of an anti-timing right now if he goes in, there's going to be 2-2 two, two bio. Yeah, but there's so many hurt, um, Marines and Marauders there. Yeah, you're right, and there's it's... only one medevac to come up. Oh, I could get a nice, nice mothership core there. <laughs> that was a bit of a mistake, but, um... Yeah, definitely a donation. Uh, so Arthur's going to wait for this plus 2, which is coming in... Five seconds, and then he's going to go. So should be around now. Yeah. And, and he's getting them ready, and here we go. Hack's misreading this. He's making ghosts. He doesn't need ghosts right now. He's just he expecting that go that um, high tempo transition, but yeah. there's just so many zealots there. You really wow. can't focus down anything other than the zealots. Man, those colossus just rinse the units. Ripping things apart. The Colossus were even firing on the command center for a while, but yeah. it's... Um, <laughs> so GG. Uh, Game 1 goes to Arthur. Arthur's playing so well. So, oh. so well. It is a best of seven. Though.